Welcome back everybody. I'm Dave Hayes and this is Hayes Tech. This is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech and I do mean anything tech. In this video, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you all the differences between a fake Casio Mudmaster and a real Casio Mudmaster. So, I'm not going to take up much of your time. I'm going to try to make this a very quick video and just go through, you know, what to look for and how to tell a fake from a real one. So, let's go ahead and get into this. And as always, if you liked my video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, think about subscribing. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell icon. Now, before we go any further, I just want to give you a very quick explanation of why I am where I'm at right now. I wanted to get another Mudmaster, and I wanted the higher-end Mudmaster. Um, the, I gave my other one to my grandson. And uh, I wanted one for myself. And the reason I gave the other one to my grandson was because it has the blacked out uh, bezel on it where the numbers are black. Every, everything's black. Um, it does have the luminescent hands and all that. And he kind of likes that. I'm not one for those blacked out watches. I want a watch I can really see quickly. Old eyes, you know. Uh, I went on eBay. And again, I know eBay has their... <laughs> Uh, bad sellers okay and I was aware of that I am also aware of what to look for in a fake you know Casio watch but I went on eBay thinking you know benefit of the doubt because that's just how I am I like to give everybody the benefit of the doubt and I found a really nice deal on a Mudmaster um, that has the the black band and everything but it's got the more legible face on it the, the thing was, is this watch was selling for right around the 250 range, and it was brand new, but it says it didn't have a case, you know, and I thought, well, that's probably why. I was figuring it was a store display model, whatever, and uh, they didn't have any more, or they were discontinuing selling that model, so that's the last one they had. Somebody on eBay bought it for real cheap, and now they're going to try to make a profit off of it. That's what I thought. But I always had in the back of my mind that this watch could be a fake. So, without further ado, let's go down and look at what we have here. So, here we have the two boxes, and these are my two Mudmaster watches. And I don't know if you can tell which one is a fake and which one is a real one, but one of these are fake. This one's the real one, this one is the fake one. So, the blacked out one is the real one, this one is the fake one. The first thing that got my attention was the size of the box that it came in. I thought, man, this is a Mudmaster. It should have a little bigger box because my Mudmaster that I purchased already did. And remember, this is the higher end model. You have the GG-100 like or 1000, and then you have the GWG-1000 and then the 1A. And, and the last part of the number actually is telling you what the band color is, what the face color is, all that stuff, okay? But basically, a GWG-1000 is this watch right here. Right here, okay? And also the fake. <laughs> Apparently. So, that's what I'm going to be talking about. And when I looked on YouTube, I saw two videos. And I'm sure there are more out there. But those videos were only on the cheaper Mudmaster. The one that sells for, you know, around 300 new, okay? 3 to 350 uh, I think they're like $399 listed on their website. This lists for $700, okay? Brand new. Um, so, again, you can find them on eBay used for around uh, $400 and up. Uh, brand new on eBay for around $550 to $590 and up. Depending on whether it's a Japanese version or one of their crazy special... Uh, versions anyways, but uh, I again, I don't want to make this a really long video I just want to show you the differences between them and I'm gonna have to zoom in over here so you guys can see but first off I want you guys to see the box, okay? Now if you look at these two boxes 
Again, this being one of this is the fake, this is the real one. If you notice, the real one has a gray inset to the color, okay? This one, it's the, the writing or the words on it are white, pure white. So again, right away, I knew what I was looking for. And as soon as I opened up that box and I saw that pure white, and of course the box size kind of threw me too. But as soon as I saw that pure white, I knew something was probably wrong. And to be honest with you, the height of the boxes, as you guys can see, are different. Also, if you look, you'll see a barcode on the real one's box. There is no barcode on this one. I noticed that as well. But the big dead giveaway is, of course, the white, bright white lettering on the fake one. This one has a, like a light gray color lettering, okay? Okay, let's, let's empty these boxes out and I'll show you some differences to look for. Okay, so once you get the boxes open, the first thing you're gonna notice is you're gonna get some cards, okay, that are sent from Casio. If you have a real Mudmaster, it's gonna come with two cards in a cellophane packet. Now, these two cards are gonna come in this little cellophane pack, okay? You're gonna get a thin kind of credit card thing, and then you're gonna get a little booklet from G-Shock. And it's just basically a quick uh, warranty information, stuff like that. In the fake, you are going to get only a single card, and it is really cheap and flimsy. Notice the coloration differences right away this one is more three-dimensional and you can actually see the print it fades into a, a really really nice print this one looks like somebody took a picture of this and it faded out and it wasn't even right okay that's another big dead giveaway also again this one did not come with this pamphlet, okay? All G-Shocks are gonna come with both the card and this pamphlet. So that was the, another real dead giveaway, which again, I knew what to look for, so I knew that it was wrong. Here's the second thing. Look at the difference between the manuals in these, okay? This is the manual that you should receive, not this little dinky thing here, okay? Again. That's the difference between Casio and, of course, uh, their piece of junk. I cannot stress this enough. Their watch is junk. It was funny because when I confronted the guy about it, he said, and this was so funny, well, how about I drop $8 off the price? Will that make you happy? No, it's a fake Casio. You could drop all the money off the price except for ten dollars and i still don't want it because it's a fake casio but still it's just really really terrible what these guys are doing if they want to do this and do it right they should sell it for cheaper and they should say fake casio okay that way at least the people know what they're buying when they buy these watches okay all right back to the watches okay so i went through the cases and what you can look for in the cases and all that also this thing came with this <laughs> like this is supposed to make things better you know this uh casio bag the real casio watches don't come with this okay guys just so you just so you're aware of that now what i want to do is get into the watches themselves now uh quickly what i want you all to notice the actual dial that you unscrew and change your world times Notice how you can't see the red seal. Now, if you flip it over on the back, you can. But that's a gasket, okay? So, when you're looking at the face of the watch, on the real one, you can't see that red ring. On the fake one, you can. Why is that? That's because no matter how you screw this out, or turn it, or do whatever you want, you're not, uh, you know, unsealing it, and then it pops out, and then you can change your world times. It doesn't matter. You can't pull this out. Nothing. This does nothing, okay? If you can see that red ring, 
there's something wrong. You shouldn't be able to. That comes from the factory. Closed and sealed. It's tightened right up, and this red ring will completely disappear. Okay? I'm going to unscrew this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do it quickly. Notice that red band is starting to show. There. It just popped out. Now, second hands are still going, but if I pull out on it, see? Now, you can set it. So if I turn it, it is changing it to different world times. And we're going to rotate this all the way back to... There we go. And then once I get back to New York City, I will push in the dial. Push it in. Hear it beep. And then, of course, it sets a time. And I'm just going to, with a little bit of inward pressure, push and screw in. Just like that. Keep screwing until that red band disappears. And, of course, it stops turning. And it will lock it into place and seal your watch up for diving and water resistance. And there we go. Again, this watch does not have that function. Okay? So that's the big giveaway right there. Um, there are other ways of telling the difference apart, but that is the huge one, okay? Um, there are other videos, and I'm going to link them down below, so you guys can go to those videos and see them yourself. But those videos will show you all the differences on how you can tell. And, I mean, there are just so many things, like the bands, if you look at the bands... Look at the differences between these two bands. All right. This is the real one. This is the fake. Another dead giveaway. This watch came with a covering on the back of the watch. What, like one of those anti-scratch coverings. And I actually had to peel that off. The Casio Mudmaster does not come with any anti-scratch coverings. Also, if you run your fingernail across the lens on this, you can feel a rubber coating on it. So they've got some kind of uh, anti-scratch resistant, like, um, like what you'd put on your phone or whatever to keep from scratching the lens. Look, I'll show you. There it goes. There it goes. See, it's starting to peel up. There you go. See? That does not come on the Mudmaster. It just doesn't. This has a sapphire crystal in it. This, my guess, is plastic. I don't even think this is mineral crystal. I really don't. It feels plastic. Okay? So, there you guys go. Those are the differences. I hope I gave you something to help you out in case you're looking to purchase a Casio Mudmaster and you don't want to get scammed. All I can tell you is if the seller's price seems too good to be real, it is probably fake, okay? Ask him to send you photos, more photos. You want to look at the dial on the watch. You want to make sure that you can actually, you know, see whether it pulls out or, or pushes in and look for all the things that I showed you. Also, Look at those videos that I, I'm going to link below. Watch those videos and, you know, take every point from them, okay? There are people out there that are true jerks. And I, I just don't understand how anybody can be that way. I really don't. I could never do that to somebody. But, you know, apparently there are people out there that have no conscience at all. And they just don't care. Those are the people you have to look out for. Again, I'm going to give you one last look. I zoomed in a little bit on it. Uh, the real one is over here. Fake one is here. Um, you know, there you go. Uh, I hope that you got something out of this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, that really helps me out a lot. Don't forget about my giveaway coming up real soon. I'm going to have the video regardless of where I am at, um, you know, with my subscriber count. I'm going to have it before Christmas because I want to actually... Uh, give away my Canon T6i to one of you, you know, so you can have it as like a Christmas present. So, 
that's all I have. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Again, I hope this was informative. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you been screwed over? Have you been scammed like this, you know? And did you get help, you know? Or did you get stuck with it? Uh, I will keep posting below to let you guys know how I make out on this. Although, um, eBay's pretty good. They do stick with the consumer more than the seller. I know that for a fact. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.